Hey, what's up? It's Andrew here from Offshore Audio. Welcome to the fourth video in our mini series looking at connecting digital mixers to our laptops using things like USB or in this case, Dante. Uh, we looked at the last video at Dante Virtual Sound Card, so check that out if you're unsure what the software is. But in this one, we're going to be creating multi-track files. We're going to be making a recording from our mixer to our laptop using Dante. Let's dive in. Okay, so in the last video, we looked at using Dante to transfer sound from our laptop into the mixer so that we could bring multi-track files into practice or run a virtual sound check. This time, we'll take a quick look again at the same mixer using Dante. And what we're going to do is we're going to record a multi-track of our performance, the gig, whatever is happening into our DAW on our laptop. So this is really, really great if you want to do a live recording of a gig, or just anything like that. If you're working for a band, maybe you could do a live recording of their gig, give it to them afterwards. They'll love you. Maybe they'll take you on tour. It'll be great. So you can see here on these first two channels, I've got some sound coming in. I'd love to have a whole band, but I don't have one here. So I'll just demonstrate with these two. I won't go over connecting up Dante again because you can see that in the last video, which I'll leave a link to. But what we need to do is we need to configure our Dante outputs this time. We need to send output of our channels to our Dante outputs on our computer, which will then go into the DAW, the digital audio workstation. So, what we need to do is jump into our I.O. device. And so once we get to this page here, what we need to do first is we need to configure our output port setup. So this can be a little bit confusing, but this is from the console to Dante. So it says here, output port from the console to Dante. If you don't see that, basically there's a bunch of controls down here. You can look at other outputs along the console. These are the Omni outputs, the XLR outputs on the back, but we are looking for Dante. So we'll go back to patch view here. Patch view one shows Dante. What this is doing is this is telling the console what channels or mixes or whatever to send to the Dante card. If you remember from the previous video, if not, go and watch it up above, we send our sound to the Dante card, and then we need to tell Dante where to collect it from as well. We'll begin by selecting our four first four channels, let's say. And what we're going to do is we're going to send the channels that we're bringing in on the mixer, okay? So currently, we're sending mix one, two, three, all the mixes to Dante. So that's for your front of house mix and your monitor mixes. Currently, that's what this is set up for. But we're going to change that. It says here, mix one. Dante one is currently being sent mix one. We scroll down here and you get direct out. And what we'll do is we will change mix one to channel one, a direct output from channel one. It's just the input signal being sent directly out again. No compression, no EQ. And then we'll move through the Dante channels and we'll change them to direct out channels. So now you can see direct channel three is going to Dante three. And you see here when I click on this, it asks me, do I want to change mix four, which is currently being sent to the Dante card to direct out four? And yes, I do. But we're not done yet because this is only half the way there. It's been sent from the channel to Dante, but it's just chilling there, you know? No one has come and collected it yet. That's where we need to go back to our device, our laptop, which is connected with Dante Virtual Sound Card. And we can tell Dante Virtual Sound Card and this laptop, the output one is going to be coming from Dante one on the card, which you can see here has been set to direct out one. Confusing, yes. So then we look over here, output two on the laptop is going to be set to channel two of Dante on the console, which is also direct out to here. So we just move through them. 
And you can see down here that Dante 9, 10, 11, 12 are still set to mix outs. So mix 9, 10, 11, 12 are still on Dante 12. So just to recap that, in our output port setup, we told our console that Dante 1 in the console wants to receive sound from channel 1 as a direct output. We did that for the first four channels. And then we went to our Dante enabled device, which is our laptop running Dante virtual sound card. And we told it the information that it was going to collect from the Dante device inside this mixer and pass forward to, in this case, Pro Tools, our digital audio workstation. What we're going to pass forward is going to be output one, channel one of this Dante, which is set here as a direct out one. Now there's one final thing left to do, and that's to tell the channel to send its direct output, to send its output out of that direct output. So if I press 11 here, handy tip on a QL series consoles, the 11 button defaults to a home button. And what I can do is I can select the channel by pressing select. And you'll see down here, there's a box that says direct out. I can turn that on. And then if I press this little window beside it, it opens up a selection screen. And down in the bottom left, next to direct out, all I need to do is press on that window and select Dante 1. Normally this might be set to, could be set to anything else. It might just be empty. But what I can do is then I can press select on channel 2 and I can select Dante 2. So now for the full recap or the three quarters recap. The mixer, in our output port setup, the mixer has been told to send direct outputs from one, two, three, four to the Dante card. Our Dante enabled laptop has been told to collect outputs one, two, three, four from the Dante card. And finally, our channel has been told to send its direct output to Dante number one. So it goes from the channel to Dante number one, which is then collected by the laptop and sent further. So now that I've turned both of these on, if we go and take a look at Pro Tools, I've just created two tracks and I've set the inputs to Dante RX1, so that's receiver one, and Dante RX2, receiver two. Now, when I enable these channels, record on them, you'll see that I get signal in them from the desk. So of course you could just extend this to as many channels as you wanted. Again, the routing for all this was covered in the previous video, so I'll leave a link to that below. Hopefully that one was helpful. Dante's pretty essential knowledge in the audio industry nowadays. Um, if you're unsure about any of the basics in the audio industry, I have a free module you can take from my workshop. I'll leave a link to that down below. Check it out. It tells you everything that you need to know about getting started and all the equipment on the stage. In this video, with regards to the Dante, Really, it's just the same as all the other principles, and it's the same as the principles behind getting the sound out of the mixer into Dante. You need to think of this whole Dante as a third party on the computer and also on the mixer. Leave a comment and tell me if you're using Dante Virtual Sound Card, how it's going for you. If you've had any problems or if there's anything that you wonder about, I'd love to hear about it. Of course, like the video if it helped you out. And if you subscribe to the channel, that would help me out and it'll let you know when I'm uploading new videos. Until the next one, I'll say goodbye for now.